Hi Erin, it is Wednesday, September 7th, and today's video is the first in a series I'm going to attempt to do. The goal of the series is essentially to make conversations with me slightly easier to follow, if possible. I'm going to posit that approximately 90% of what I contribute to any conversation at present is related to K-pop or K-dramas or Korean variety shows. Erin, you're the person I converse with most often, so you're aware that this can result in some level of confusion. Because this primer is directed specifically at you and other confused friends and family of mine, it will be specific to things that I like and generally pretty biased, but hopefully it will also be somewhat entertaining and informative to a general audience should a general audience stumble upon it. For the first video, I'm going to tell you about 21, since you already like them and have some of their music. 21 debuted in 2009 with YG Entertainment, which is one of the three biggest K-pop labels currently, the other two being SM and JYP. 21's first appearance as a group was in the song Lollipop, which they sang with Big Bang for an LG cell phone promotion campaign, and their debut single was called Fire. There are four girls in 21, CL, who is the leader, Park Bom, Sundara Park, and Minji. Um, Minji is the makame of the group at 17, and she's also my favorite for superficial reasons, like she's had purple and gray hair, but also because her dancing is really amazing, and I love her voice. One of the things that's really enjoyable about 21, and probably one of the reasons they're so popular, is that they don't really fall into the K-pop girl group thing of being either super cute or super sexy. They are both of those things, but they don't, like, super play them up for their promotions, which is kind of what usually happens with girl groups. With 21, we get to see them be tough, or sexy, or sad, or feminine, or strong, but they always seem like multi-dimensional, more real and edgy, less girly, caricature-y. Which is not to say that I don't also love the other girl groups, um, but they do kind of stand out in that way. A few of my favorite 21 songs, and there are still a bunch of songs that I don't know, so I really need to listen to more, but some of my favorites are Go Away, Follow Me, Ugly, and Hate You. As you know, Erin, I really like to watch K-pop idols when they're on variety shows, and 21 hasn't really been on a ton, but they do have 21 TV, which is fantastic. Um, it's currently in its third season, and it basically follows the girls around and documents their lives as they record and rehearse and promote and live in the dorm and adopt puppies and basically do whatever they're doing. We also get to see some other members of the YG family, like Big Bang and Teddy, who among other things is the producer for most of what they do and composes for them, and Yang Kim Sook, who is the founder and CEO of YG. Um, I'm going to put lots of links in the doobly do to songs and 21 TV and whatever else I think of between now and when I write the video description. Erin, I hope you've enjoyed this first volume of your K-pop primer, and hopefully these will also get better as I go along, and I will see you on Monday.